listening to you. You're hanging out with Adelo Nyango and Shafi Weru. And Chim from Pasho is here because of the big scoop on Kiss. Good morning. It's a terrible morning. Why? Why? I've just seen Shafi Weru wearing my, my whole month's salary on his feet. <laughs> no, <laughs> they're not that expensive. Where? Don't start the scoops. First tell us what to expect. What to expect? It has nothing to do with my shoes. <laughs> yeah. What, what, what do we expect? expect? Yes, <laughs> <we're> <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Today we'll be all over the place. As usual, we have uh, Nairobi D yeah. up in the building. We'll be looking at, we, we spoke to um, Bridget Cheng. Yeah. We also have, uh, we'll be going to Bongoland as always. Oh, Kamakawa. Man. The day we don't go to Bongo, there's no big scoop. Yeah. What? Yeah. No, we have our very own Prezo. We'll also be looking at Prezo's love life. Oh my God, my God, my God. Whenever I hear Prezo, I just expect fire because that guy <laughs> is always up to no good. However, guys, as you wait for the big scoop. It's the big scoop, the big scoop. And we have Chen from Partial live in studio with us. So um, uh, you mentioned Prezo. Yes. Okay. So, here is the O. posted. Huh? Oh, you know, Shafi and you know, Shafi and Prezo have a, a bromance going on. Yeah. Yeah. I know, it's my boy, man. If you it's check his boy. IG, these guys are always playing pool together, always hanging out together. Mm-hmm. What's your point? <laughs> so you have a photo. What so photo? you're celebrating seeing Prezo has Nyemelea, the Colonel Mustafa, Mustafa's uh, splang thing. Okay, is see, woman. Naughty, is That's it not Yes, naughty flow. I thought her. Okay, I remember watching an episode where, where she was, was pissed because Prezo didn't show up for some video. Well, you know, yes, naughty flow is a spring chicken, and uh, she's. I think she's always wanted Prezo more than she wanted. Uh, you know, uh, our boy Mustafa. Okay, so what happened first and foremost? Right, so it started with a uh, Ilianza Tunaka selfie <laughs> double tap. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> right? So, this guy's posted up a selfie mm-hmm. that featured Prezo and Naughty Flo. And it raised her eyebrows because we were like, don't these guys have beef? Yeah. First of all, they have individual beef. Then, Naughty Flo is with Colonel. Yeah. Right? Which means... And Colonel and Prezo, Prezo have are beefing. Beef. So, okay. she, she should take on Colonel's beef. Yeah. So, we're wondering, what is... So, who did you first call? We first called... Um, Prezo, Prezo yeah. Olympic. Mm-hmm. Then we spoke to Naughty Flo. Mm-hmm. Naughty Flo had a lot to say. And did you speak to Mustafa? Yes, we did. Okay, so before we hear from Naughty Flo, let's hear what Mustafa had to say about this whole situation. I thought you postpone a comment. <laughs> <laughs> At least he was he was really specific that seven pm. Seven pm cash. So, do you I have an alarm? Releasing a, a, <laughs> I will have a press conference In on fact, that better issue. Than that, you know, he, he he realizes he was called by the God Blogger. Yeah. So he will definitely be calling me before he releases everything. Seven pm. Okay. So that's Mustafa's um you know comment. <laughs> we'll wait for seven pm. Our uh, president pick up his uh, your calls. I, no, but worry not. Naughty Flow had a lot to say. It was fire. Okay, so that's coming up. Big Scoop. That's right, the Big Scoop on Kiss. And uh, so when we left off, you've been told to wait until 7 p.m. by Mustafa. But if somebody has just joined us, quick recap. Um, Prezo posted up a photo of him and Naughty Flow. Yes. And we all thought that Naughty Flow was dating Mustafa. Yes, actually she came out and said no, that. She, they were actually, no, they were actually dating as in, according to her, they were having a fling or something like that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. They had a thing. And Prezo and Mustafa also have their beef. Yes. Okay. So Mustafa said wait till 7 p.m. Prezo did not pick, but he, the person who did pick <laughs> is none other than Naughty Flow. Okay, guys, listen. <laughs> Okay. Okay, hold on. She's looking for a dude or a manager. No. <laughs> no. She's looking for a business partner. Yes. Uh, she, I think she's watched too much Empire. Uh, <laughs> yeah? She's watched Empire the series guys, because she's guys. like, you know what? 
eh akona sugar mommy alafu anatoka hapa anaenda kwa kesi juu nini so she so she's admitted the guy was sleeping with her at the same time sleeping with the cougar and uh who's a show show because she's saying sugar mommy and then she goes ahead and says um set a jukizungu yeah so then the meeting eh at least we know prison a jukizungu eh when is in the meeting but then whether uh, a prison be sober or not it's another story for another day but at least akona kizungu this is the first time I've ever heard a chick saying that she's looking for a guy and one of the qualifications is that you must be able to send emails and like <laughs> no, what's the manager. By the way, shout out to my Swahili teacher who once called me retarded. You see? Oh, 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 oh we're going with this. Swahili. <laughs> Turns out I didn't need Swahili. No. <laughs> okay, so I hope at 7 p.m. is the convo going to be in English? <laughs> You know what? You should up. And every single Friday, we get Chim into studio for the Big Scoop on Kiss. Kiss FM. It's the Big Scoop. The Big Scoop. All right. And uh, we're still keeping up with the matters of Prezo. Yes, we are. Okay. So what's not happening as well? This time we're heading to TZ. With Prezo? Yeah. Alivuka Boda. Okay. Uh, so Prezo was seen getting cozy with a certain Tanzanian socialite. Okay. By the name of Amba Lulu. And... Uh, Rumor has it, not well, they confirmed it, but uh, let's just go with rumor has it. Okay. Uh, she spent the night at his uh, hotel, hotel room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and when that happened, when Prezo was put to task about it, he was like, come on, guys, I respect her. She's like a small sister to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, maybe they were just like making the bed. No, no, tell you know, making music, making music. Maybe, I like yeah, that, maybe I like it's that a collab or, 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 or you know, well, like you know, when I travel, <laughs> yeah. and then uh, I like having <laughs> someone in the room, tell so us, so they can act like my alarm, so they can wake me up if I have meetings. Is that why ah. you have other people in your room? Yes, Shafi. Yes. Interestingly enough, Shafi was traveling <laughs> with, uh, oi, 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 oi. with who? But Vanessa Vanessa Mde. Mde. Yes, but <laughs> did she act as your alarm? Yeah, she, your yeah she woke me up a couple of times. Shafi is but blushing. But we were in separate rooms. He's actually blushing. We were in separate rooms. Pia we were in separate floors. Pia we were in separate floors. That's my sister. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Same thing that Prezo said. Okay, so then no, what happened? Prezo said, that's my little sister. Yes. I this, just said my sister. Hey, so yours is She's like you. You're like ah, sister with no, an A. No. Sister with an A. Eh? I've never been an al alarm clock. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> so now? All right, so TID saw that happening. And TID was like, yo. TID, Tanzanian musician. Top top down. What? Tanzanian okay. musician who went to prison. Janke and was assaulted in prison. <laughs> okay, so he, he came out to say what? He was like, yo, fam, Prezo, mm. one thing I'll tell you, we are boys, va condom. Mm. Eh, 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 eh. Make sure, na si la, utahitaji. That's what he, okay, you know what, in three minutes, I really want to hear what Prezo had to say about that, because me, <laughs> Sidi <laughs> Biwa, by the way. <laughs> It's half of there, but since we have just landed in Tanzania, as far as the big scoop is concerned, it's all about Prezo and what's her name? Lulu. Yes. Number Lulu. Number Lulu. Okay. All right, so they apparently and allegedly spent the night together when he was yes. in Tanzania. Yes, they did. TID came out and told Prezo what? Hey. We told him face to face, Ama. No, no, no. He spoke to the media and was like, brah. Okay. Ambia yeye avai kondom. Ay. Surely. Huh? Ali 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 was it like, you know. No, he was like, make sure. I, yes. I hope you did. Yes. Okay. Because it already happened. So it was yeah. like, you know what? Like, just past tense. Did. Okay, so then what did Prezo say? Prezo came out and was like, fam, like, you have my number. Why don't you just call me? Which is true, by the way. Maybe he tried call calling me? you and you're busy. Prezo, what's up? Like Shafi will say, maybe they're busy making the bed. Who makes the bed in a hotel room? Hey, good people like Shafi uh, and the rest. <laughs> Who makes the bed in they, the bed? They have to lie in the bed, so they might as well make it. Make it, yeah. Okay, so what you all need to do <laughs> is head over. I see what you guys okay, Let me tell you something, by the way. Amber, uh, this particular Lulu chick, yeah? This is the same chick, by the way. Yeah. Uh, who was in jail. And uh, she was uh, suspected to have killed one of their biggest actors. Yes. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. They did it for, uh, for a while. <laughs> and you're a prison yeah. beware. <laughs> so, yeah. So this chick by there, her track record <laughs> hey, is hey, not hey, the best. Hey, not the best, hey, you know? Okay. So uh, first things first, who, which Tanzanian celebrity has not been in jail? Because it feels like everybody has pity had. But also, you need to go to impartial.co.ke and check out the full story. Listen to the whole conversation that Chim had with Naughty Flo. And when we come back, more in Tanzania. Yes, and we're staying in Tanzania. Mm -hmm. This time we're looking at uh, Diamond and Zara. Okay. For the umpteenth time in a in as many months actually. I love how they keep us talking about them. <laughs> like nobody else, no one else in Africa.
has done it the way they've done it. And it's because, you know, Diamond is winning all around. Okay. He's winning everywhere except in his uh, marriage. So what's happening? Are they still together or? Now. Yeah. That's the scoop. Okay. Right? So there have been rumors that they were parting ways or getting ready to part ways mm -hmm. with Diamond and Zari posting subliminal disses at each other. Diamond going as far as refusing to call Zari, his uh, wife or his woman, uh, by her name, instead referring to her as Yule Ali South. Wow. Ulang Southy. Connie, there's one for West. Yeah, as in things East. have gone south. <laughs> then, yeah. yeah. Zari responded by saying, mm -hmm. um, you have nothing in the South. You have, that, you have nothing in the South. Wow. Why, why are you talking about the South? Yeah, you have yeah. nothing I'm in the, the South. I'm the queen of the South. You're not the king of the South. So, they're not together. And then, <laughs> I that, eh? and then in the Instagram pages, eh? yeah. you know that day your voice started acting up. Yeah. Mm. So, to look at what nini sausage fest. Yeah. Yes. And uh, on that particular day, on the big scoop, uh, Chim confirmed that uh, if he went to um, Diamond's uh, page yeah. or uh, Boss Lady's page, yeah. Harry, they've all chomored all their photos. So and like there were 5, a lot of photos. photos. There were a lot of <laughs> photos. Someone uh, literally, like, she employed people yeah. to go through her Instagram so that they can pick out all uh, Diamond uh, pictures or wow. any picture that was with her and Diamond or Diamond and the children. Mm -hmm. And she went even further and deleted the name, uh, Diamond's name from the from the the pages uh -huh. of the children <sighs> yeah okay yes. don't get the chuckle, and man. diamond was also petty he re he responded um so she also commented and said look everyone keeps asking me whether I'm, i'll be in uganda diamond has uh, had a I charity, had a charity event, event before he left uganda. the states yeah yeah and everyone was calling and asking like look i already said i'm not going i am not going i have no business in uganda so i'm not going I'm with so my are they together or nah Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. So Diamond was very petty about it. Diamond began posting photos of his reception, videos of his reception in Uganda. And he'd say, look, ma, look at how they love me in Uganda. Hmm. Whether you're there or not, or whether you're in the picture or not. Look how so they love they me together? in Uganda. Now, Zari <laughs> has come out to ask a question. Mm -hmm. Zari posted and asked, who said we've separated? See all so of she's not things. saying whether they're together, and, and what she's is not Damon saying? Uh, whether they Damon are is part. having fun in the U.S. Okay. posting his wins, his big wins, all hanging right. out with uh, our very own Victoria Kimani. But in in eh, what See, are you, you trying say, to say? You guys said suggest that hey. anyone who shares our hotel with another person, there's something going <laughs> on more stop. than making stop. the bed. So what I'll say is this. Um, I don't think anything will ever happen between Victoria Kimani and Diamond. Even me, that one I know for a fact. She has not featured in his music video. No, even me, I know that one for a fact. <laughs> kuna, kuna zile sampuliake. Awe. There's a type. Yeah. There's a type he goes yeah. for. Just dig that yeah. hole for yourself. No, there's a type he goes for. Yeah. First, you better be rich. And you better be like, really like, you know. <laughs> like? Hey, this guy. Light skin. I. Uh-huh. Like <laughs> K.O.T. and Saudi Soul, by the way. Mm -mm. <laughs> too early. All we're going to say is that uh, they are leaving for Nigeria for about two to three weeks. Mm -hmm. Where they're going to shoot videos. Uh, oh, okay. For collabs well, that they have done with uh, Davido, Part Ranking, just to name about a few. Mm -hmm. They're going also, for Fela Fest. Yes, they're going for Fela mm -hmm. Fest. They were there last year. Mm -hmm. And uh, they've been called yet again. Okay. And I'm thinking, yo, K.O.T., mm -hmm. Watch out to let them be. <laughs> let them prosper. <laughs> eh? Umama or no umama. Let them be. However, guys, listen, you're hanging out with the Del and Yango Shafi, wherein uh, Chim is here for the big scoop on kids. So, what can we expect now? We'll be looking at Bridget Achieng. Oh, okay. From Nairobi D. Yeah. Uh, and we'll also be taking a look at Sharon. Mundia, aka this is S. Oh man, S in the city. Oh man, you know what? And the S does not mean Shafi. That's coming, but Shafi, by the way. Hey. Anyway, you know what? That's coming up in the next three minutes before we think. But right about now. Kiss FM. It's the big scoop. The big scoop. Chim is here from Pasha Ke. Okay. okay, so what scoop are you dropping now? Let's stay with Bridget Cheng, mm -hmm. and let's talk about Bridget Cheng and uh, the fact that she is. Bleaching. Okay. Oh. Well, well, she told me it's not called bleaching. Apparently, yeah. bleaching is for the dead. Huh? That's embalming. <laughs> Shafi. That's <laughs> embalming. Like when you're preserving a dead body. Now. Let me tell you, if your family decides to bleach you when you're, when dead. you're dead, let me tell you, you're going straight to hell. <laughs> yes, because me. you know what? Angel Gabriel will be there, you know, trying you to look nanny. for you, <laughs> saying, Apana, where si we we? <laughs> You'll be saying, the Mimi and Asama, see where we? And you know what? He's the only guy with the keys and the pearly gates. Oh man! He just send you back to Zenda. So, so she came out. She, she's 
admitted. I think she's admitted before that yeah, she yeah, has yeah, yeah. Li- lightened Certainly her skin. Has, yes. Okay. So we spoke to her about the cost. Mm-hmm. And she told me she stopped counting uh, in terms of cost yeah. after it hit the 3 million shilling mark. You are lying. I'm serious. 3 million Kenya shillings, guys. And she justified it by saying, look, um, skin lightening is a way of life. Yeah. You never stop. Okay. You never stop. You're constantly buying the, the products. One of which I hear is called, is it glutathione? I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Um, three million. Okay, guys, if I give you, you know, three, three million, million. I would buy three Subarus. Okay. Trust me. If I had three million right now. I'm not the right ones now. that make a lot of noise and fat all the yeah. way. The nice, legit ones, like what, the one I'm driving. Three million Kenya shillings. Three Subarus. What would you do with it, Jim? Me, I'd start a business. Okay. Well, of doing what? Skin Literally. lightening, so no. you can get somebody else's three million. <laughs> to make a profit. That's a dope idea. Yeah, that's a brilliant idea. So before we hear Jim's conversation with Bridget, which is going to come your way in the next four minutes, oh seven eleven zero four six one hundred three million Kenya shillings. What would you do with it? Skin lightening, or um, start a business, or buy cars? Let us know. We are also hanging out with Jim from Pasha Del Ciudad KE because of the big scoop on Kiss, and it's all about Bridget. Three million. Indeed. On skin lightening. Yes. And actually, that is just when she's lost count. Oh, That my figure God. keeps ballooning because, like I said, it's a lifestyle. She buys these products every day. Mm-hmm. So she had this convo with Shay. Maybe listen to this. This thing is like, it's a lifetime affair. Mm-hmm. I lost my count after three years. That's what I say. It's not like it's a different thing. That's just it. You do forever. You, you, you don't stop because it's not your original color. You have to maintain. And why did you decide to lighten your skin? Change is good as rest. Ah. <laughs> yeah. However, I love Bridget because what do you say after that? You're like, oh, okay, okay, sour. No, another thing I like about Bridget is... Yeah. How honest she is. Mm-hmm. You can never attack an honest person. They own everything about themselves. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A change is as good as a rest. So the conversation went on and on. What else did you guys talk about? We also spoke about her boyfriend. Okay. And she did reveal the identity of her boyfriend. Okay. Exclusively to Mpasho. So head over to mpasho.co.ke to check that one out. And kiss 100.co.ke. Uh-huh. Hey? Hey? <laughs> skin lightening. Three million on skin lightening. And uh, has she spoken herself? Yes. And she said that uh, it's what? If she yeah. lost count at 3 yeah. And that a change is as good as a rest. That's why she does it. Well, let me just ex- advise her. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Nikwa Nimenda Kususu. And now you've come back here, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. It's not uni- a universal accepted trend. Mm-hmm. Because if you look at even uh, the Kardashians, they're trying to be as black as their husbands. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know which hole Kenyan chicks live in. And if they want to be lighter, yeah. all they need to do is just move to Europe. But the weather there is conducive and it will make you light, uh, light it will lighten up your skin yeah. naturally. I think for me is that I don't understand the difference between bleaching and skin lightening. They're one for me. It's but the also the risks, the risks of the diseases. No, me, my issue hey. is when you sit down and say it's a universal thing. It's not a universal thing. Please, no, it's um, not. No. Call the conditions. They want to be as black as Adele. I, and we're hanging out with Shim as we do every single Friday on hashtag the big scoop on kiss. What is the next scoop? We are going to this is F. Okay. Sharon Mondia. Oh man! Not All right. Inside. Um, because I feel like the way people react to this whole situation, it's almost like we celebrate um breakups, we celebrate heartbreak. You know what I mean? Okay, I'll address that shortly. Yeah. Let me first give guys a recap. Yeah. Now, on the second of October, Pasha were the first guys to notice something was off. We ran a story. Shout out to Elizabeth Kalundu. Mm-hmm. We ran a story um where we were basically asking, "Where is your man?" Understand? This is as hard. On October. The second. <laughs> I'm telling you. People, okay, anyway, continue. Now, on October the 2nd, what we noticed was her man had inexplicable, uh, her man had gone missing. Oh, there was no he was nowhere way. to be found. I, he was I, MIA. He was MIA. Yeah. Like online Missing or? in action. Missing online. in action. As in this is okay. a guy who had been very public about his courtship of the is S. The is S had also been very public about the engagement. Mm-hmm. And they had also been very public about their their wedding okay although they pretended they put up a show trying to say that it's private but if it were private we wouldn't have gone the photos okay you understand Chop and, I know. exactly mm-hmm. right so we noticed she has gone from talking about him every damn second mm-hmm. to not mentioning him at all all of her stories about her being sure pregnant, stalkers, mm-hmm. but continue. all of her stories about her lama's class her giving bath yeah all of them now he's, he doesn't feature mm-hmm. at all right another thing we notice is there's no ring Oh, okay. There's no ring. 
And then people sit down and decide Shafi, and, where is Judy? And those guys sat down and mm. we were we were watching everything unfold. Like I once said over here, even with the Zari situation, what Mpasha does is it, you people make it so simple. And I was about to go uh, off okay. on a tangent. People okay. make it so simple, right? Because all we need to do is look at your social media footprint. Mm-hmm. And see, we are literally changes. like trackers. You know how trackers in the wild look at animals. So then, okay, wait. So October second, you see all of this, and then what? Right. So we just start keeping tabs on her. Okay. Right. Then a story you emerges. You guys are so savage, but okay. Right. Then a story emerges. Okay. Shout out to a certain someone in this uh, studio. Not me. Who ran a <laughs> blind piece? A blind piece. Yes. Okay. Um, in which. He he sp- he openly spoke about the rumor that had been circulating for quite some time. Thanks for saying he. <laughs> he she. Has <laughs> G. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And he, he he spoke about a rumor that had been circulating for some time yeah. that involved a threesome. Okay. An all girl threesome, kind of like uh, Destiny Child's trio. Okay. Right. And um, now that was when the can of worms had been opened, mm-hmm. because from there. Uh, this is S came out to address all the rumors. Robert Ali jumped on the story. He he didn't credit us. Didn't credit this individual. Let me just run with the story. And as he's wont to do, he just named names. Okay, right? which is a bit unfair, don't you think? Well, no. like if you do, if no. you have a okay. tie, Robert thing, Robert so Ali's, name no, no, names. but look at it this way. Robert Ali's piece came after she came out or before. Before and before she, so she actually, this is just responded to Robert Ali because Robert Ali named the people who are rumored to have caused the the breakdown of her relationship, the people she had had a lesbian tryst with. Okay, allegedly. All right. Okay. So um, then, what did Mpasha do? Did you reach out? Who did you reach out to to verify all of this? Reached out to Fena, mm-hmm. and we also reached out to um, Sharon herself. Sharon herself. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, Sharon. Every time I'd call, she'd hang up. I call about three times, then I s- just sent her WhatsApp. Now the thing about WhatsApp is, I can you blue take me, and legally I'm covered. Remember, like a month legally ago, I I'm told covered. you, you just remember those things for. No, actually, even if, even, <laughs> if you switch you them off, yeah. even if you switch them off, even if you switch them off, there is a way I can see whether or not you have read. I won't know what time you've read. You guys there is a are way savage. I will know you have read my message. Okay, so we'll hear the convo between Pasho and Fena in the next week of the Big Scoop on a Kiss. Um, right about now, it's all about what people are talking about online and everywhere, which is um, Sharon Mundia, aka This Is S, right? Yes. Um, and it's all about the allegations of her marriage having broken. They are circling down the toilet pipes, Juana. They are going no, down just the say, toilet. You see, this is the problem that I have, all right? Why don't we celebrate, like, tragedy and Let me address that real quick and say... How look, is a tragedy? A tragedy is when uh, people get into an accident. People don't get into marriages to, for them to but break. break up. Breaking up is put, not an accident. If you put your relationship on social media, if you put your relationship out for the world to see, right? You, you open it up for us. Yeah. We live through the highs with you, right? Yeah. If you're going to do that, also post the lows. Don't pedestalize your relationship. Don't make it seem like it's a unicorn relationship where everything is happy, fine and dandy. Don't do that. I get that. If you're going to, if you're going to put everything out there, put it all out there. Because what you're seeing is people reacting to seeing a relationship that they thought was rock solid, that they thought was a fairy tale relationship go down the drain. Understand, the courtship was public. Mm-hmm. We saw Lonina and this is S publicly courting. We saw the engagement with the helicopter. God damn, a helicopter in the marriage didn't last a year. That was God for a proposal. We saw, yes, engagement. Uh-huh. Yes. Then we saw the marriage. Mm-hmm. The marriage all the way in Watamu, exclusive, invites only. How many millions sunk into housing? Chim, you're just bitter you weren't invited. But it's their money. <laughs> but it's their money. God damn. God yeah. damn. It didn't even last a year. God damn. That is actually heartbreaking. But wait, let me ask a question. Um, Because all I see is people talking about this is this, this is this all the time. But has anybody reached out to, to her husband? Yeah. Now, that's the thing. What I, what I was saying was, if there's anyone who should be speaking out about this relationship to protect it, it should be Lonina. Mm-hmm. Right? Just like the song that you just played was saying, this guy, is, he should be begging, right? Trying to salvage his relationship or defending it from people talking. Yeah. Lonina is silent. Well, Lonina is silent. Is, yeah. Social media, nothing. Well... I mean, I say, guys, to support what uh, and is given saying. that the rumors, yeah. some of the rumors even say that there was that there are allegations of abuse, there are allegations of infidelity. That is not something any man should take lightly. Okay, you know, um, Kenya has credited me to this story, and uh, I don't know why. <laughs> but all I can say is this: Shavi, I know why. Let me tell you why. <laughs> no, no, no. Let me just let me. Can I give my take as a yes. second general of Team Afisi? You should not let uh, your woman fight your battles. Exactly. Unless exactly. you really hate her so much or you don't give a damn about her. Exactly. And secondly, mm-hmm. this guy, I can't pronounce his name, it's very difficult. Yeah. It sounds like for a cheek. <laughs> Just but an L. He has decided to go ahead 
and commit uh, uh, social media suicide. And not even mm-hmm. no, you cannot find him anywhere. He's Do not you know, on in, Insta. He's not on Twitter. I, I can tell you where you'll on find Facebook. Him. Well, you will find him in Kiza. He has. Uh, we have spotted him at Kiza twice on two occasions with different women. Actually, one of them we begin because we've, seen, we've seen her before. Yeah. We've seen her before. We are beginning to suspect that there's. Yo, may I don't kiss my friends on the lips, God. Okay, anyway, you guys spotted. Moving on, moving on swiftly, let me finish what I was saying because you know what? Uh, Chim is just bitter. I don't know why because he wasn't invited to Watamu. <laughs> Listen, but you've got pictures. Let me tell you what I'm saying. Let me, yeah, let me finish my you. point. Mm. Uh, the issue with uh, this S's uh, relationship and why it's such a big deal is because now there are chicks out there who are now chasing after this dude. They just want to see, hey, Connie, how did this guy get this? This is, this is because so chicks had put this is S at a, you know, a, on, a on a pedestal. pedestal. Okay, so you guys, okay, so I'm partial back to the genesis of the whole story. Why don't you want to agree so that Mpasho, chicks now are chasing after the Jama? Because me, I don't know, I don't have info on that. He's but, a hot catch. Who wouldn't want him? He's successful. But, 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 with us, he's Mpasho, good looking. Mpasho, you didn't. This is S did not speak back to you guys. She, no? she just jumped on social media and addressed the rumors. Okay, That's it. and she didn't mention her husband in. What she said was she's focusing on her relationship with her daughter. Question marks her about job. her husband and her job. Okay. Question marks about the husband. Lonina, you can't find him, but he's nowhere to be found. Because we what Nega, we wanted Nega, Lonina to address. MIA. What we wanted Lonina to address is remember after the wedding was announced, the wedding was called off. Why was this wedding called off? That's what I'd like him to address. Okay. So who did you actually then speak to? We spoke to one of the women who had been mentioned in this story as being allegedly one of the people who were in the in the the, threesome. the lesbian trist. Which I think is just unfair because this is my friend. So you spoke to Fena. Fena Gitu. Are you... Who am I speaking to? Zola from Biggest Kaka. Okay, so we'll call you back. That was it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because, that you know, it. sometimes some rumors can be so far-fetched that you wonder, how do you... Uh, okay. How do you respond? You know what Kenyans need to how understand? How do you respond? What Kenyans need to understand is, yeah, it's not about Fena here. It's not about the other chief. <laughs> it's yeah. about this is us and the husband. Because, you know, those are the people who are in the public eye. I disagree because, understand, this marriage broke apart because this man walked into his home, his matrimonial bed, I mean, into the room, but, but this is on his matrimonial bed, allegedly, three women. This sounds like but a But she movie, said it's okay. a lie. She said it's yeah. a lie. She's she, she denied it. Now, we need him to also... You, ah, listen, yeah. any story has three sides. The truth, a lie... And your version. Okay. A lie like Robert a lie. No. <laughs> Actually, yes, that's, that's a lie. Stop. Yes.